Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm your host, Casey Marie Hurt, and today we're going to be using the rotator disc on the reformer. So we have a little bit of a setup here today. I have a regular rotator disc, the not so lazy Susan, as I call it, on a, a nice little non-skid uh, a mat here so that it doesn't get out from underneath me as I'm on the reformer. We have this nice little, I like to call it the skateboard of the carriage that's completely disconnected from the gear bar. So no springs for this one. So I started coming up with some really great rotation work for some of my golf clients. I'm really inspired by some of um, Elizabeth Larkham's uh, workshops that we have on our site. So you gotta go check those out. Her rotations ones with discs are just Oh, it's such great work. So I wanted to come up with something to help to open up the inner thigh to really work on that external rotation of the femur while bringing the leg you know, to this lateral aspect. Um, so what I tell people to do is you don't rely on the uh, carriage here for stability. You step into what I call the bathtub and you're gonna hold on to the carriage so it doesn't get away from you and you're gonna sit on our not so lazy Susan here. So I'm gonna go into a little bit of turnout here and get comfortable so that I can move. Make sure that my sitting bones are reaching into the rotator disc. And you know, I like to cushion the rotator disc sometimes but what I was finding is that people were not really sitting into their sitting bones. So I keep them slightly uncomfortable and don't cushion it too much so that they can find that equal weight into each one. Now we're gonna go into a little bit of turnout here. And what I really want you to look for is that the kneecap and the second toe stay relatively in line with one another on each leg, no matter what you're doing. A lot of people cheat through the foot and the knee and the tib fib when trying to do some hip work, which actually takes all of the range of motion work out of the femur and the pelvis and brings it into funky stuff with the knee. So we're really looking for this nice alignment between kneecap and second toe, both sides. The other thing when we start to get into some rotation is that people love to cheat with their shoulders and the thoracic spine. So that's where this puppy comes in. You're gonna bring a dowel, if you have it, right underneath and it kind of keeps you nice and centered, keeps the shoulders out of it. All right, so here we go. No springs again. So I'm really gonna focus on this left leg first, the kneecap looking over the left toe. I'm gonna start to rotate the pelvis right relative to the left leg and start to extend out. Again, that knee has to stay in line. This foot's just kind of leaning off to the side. And what I really wanna do is drive my left ASIS forward, the right one back, while staying equally weighted on each sitting bone. Now, it's very easy to wanna to go too far and let go of the leg. Ooh, we wanna keep that rotation happening. Then on the way back in, it's my right leg's turn. So as I drag myself in with this leg, I have to find where I can rotate my right ASIS to the left, keeping, oh, that's so hard, my right knee over my middle toe there. And I can feel that my little bit of scoliosis wants to come in, so I have to keep my right side sitting bone down as I do this. This is very difficult for me. And then again, I press out. So this is much like roller skating, rollerblading, ice skating, that you have to push with the opposite leg to move forward. And of course, that's a lot like gait too. But really what you wanna make sure of is that that kneecap stays up because then you're gonna be working the deep glute muscles, opening the inner thigh to really get that nice external rotation bone rhythm that so many people don't have. So this is how we start to really contact and work the deep glutes without going into all of that bun squeezing. The other thing that, again, you're gonna see a lot of is people trying to get out of line here. And this is nice teaching tool, this dowel, because you can say, oh, make sure that the dowel stays nice and centered. That really helps people stay a little bit more in their body box as they experiment with what it's like to drive from one side to the other with the opposite leg, which again, helps all sorts of rotational sports, 
also simply helps people walking. When people get up, of course, nice and gentle because there's no springs here. When they get upright and they start to move forward, they're gonna have a newfound freedom that they didn't know that they missed so much. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.